stabilizing aluminum polymer. Canister will be built in 35 days. 35? Great. I'll come back later. The synthesis process can be sped up. That's good news. How? The massive mixers that enrich raw polymer with anaerobic bacteria operate at a set speed. So if the speed is increased, the process will get sped up too? Where's the control panel? There isn't one. Under normal circumstances, the speed of the process does not vary. But a shock blast could provide their electric motors with extra voltage. Now we just need to find those motors. Access granted. Please select the desired procedure. There we go. Did you know there was a cable car here? I assume there must be a way to service the equipment hanging from the ceiling. Gotta be careful. It's a long way down. I could get hurt. Hurt? You're an optimist. That's my thing, Chucky. Canister will be filled in 20 days. It worked. Look at that pool glow. It's actually kind of pretty. Please note that your unscheduled maintenance has initiated the repair algorithm.
one foresaw this particular turn of events. It was a rhetorical question, Chuck. up the last motor. No, well, at least I don't have to worry about ammo.
Pleasant lights all around, shellless buzzing in the distance. How romantic. Collect the canister now. Neuromed! What do we know about Petrov's girlfriend, Charles? Are you referring to Dr. Filatova? That's what I said. Did the cat get your tongue? Do you know her? Dr. Larissa Filatova, MD, has worked with Dr. Sechenov for many years. He entrusted her with one of the most crucial aspects of Collective 2.0, with good reason. She replaced the late Chariton Zaharov in that role. Who's Zaharov? A tenured professor of medical science, an esteemed neurosurgeon, and one of the scientists who vanquished the Brown Plague, Chariton Radionovich Zaharov, was also Dr. Sechenov's closest friend and trusted colleague. They laid the foundation for Facility 3826 together. Great, whatever. So what about Filatova? She's a talented neurosurgeon and was Comrade Zaharov's student and assistant. Polymer canister she connected. continued the professor's work after he died. But she is now a criminal and a traitor to the motherland. Understood. It's too bad. She's kind of cute. Attention. Distribution center employees. Access to the right wing of the complex is now available.
It's too bad how it all ended up. No one ever thought something like this could happen. It was always going to the stars. The bright future that awaits us. Now all I can do is lie here and think about it all. How long ago did the robots attack? To be honest, I haven't been very good at keeping track of time. But it must have been quite a while ago. At least a few days. How did you end up in the corridor? I was the first one they did in. Lab Tech 42 did it. I went to get some coffee, and it grabbed me by the neck. And snapped it. Right here. Can you tell me anything? How did this all get started? It was quick, unexpected, and very bloody. You're lucky, you know. There are only a few robots here now. The first day, the place was swarming with them. Every corridor had someone screaming, or dying, or both. And where did the robots go? How should I know? All over the facility, I guess. I assume they went through those tunnels. A few of them got stopped or taken out. And I guess the rest are probably still out there, waiting for you. You seem pretty calm about this. Why shouldn't I be? I had my fill of screaming when it all went down. I freaked out, swore, saw terrified, dying people. Funny thing is, what scared them most wasn't the robots that were butchering them. It was seeing me dead and talking. But why do you think that is? Because it's a damn scary thing to be talking to a dead man. I mean, why I'm talking? I've no idea. I'm not even sure I'm happy about it. It doesn't matter anyway. Well, I gotta run. All right, see you. This has got to be some kind of mistake. Sechenov should have foreseen this. He must have. I'm sure of it. It's got to be a mistake. Authorization. Major... What's this crap? That is a sprout. What's a sprout? Sprouts were designed as highly efficient feed for large livestock. But there's something wrong with this sprout. A killer chicken. Now I've seen it all. Attracting their attention is not advised. Too late. Congratulations on your promotion, comrade Zolotukhin. Deputy Director of the Vavilov Complex is a very important position. Right now, our primary goal is to provide the Soviet people with sustenance, which requires great attention. But very, very soon, mankind's first steps into outer space will begin right here as well. As an outstanding botanist, 
You will be tasked with overseeing the creation of entire systems of plants designed to terraform the surfaces of other worlds. Comrade Sechinov and I had a talk earlier, and we're both delighted that you have joined our team. <laughs> you see, Vic, we do not just want to plant corn on the moon. We want to take a bite of a bigger apple on Mars. I've got a personal request for you, Vic. The Pavlov complex is in the middle of a big polymer study right now, and humdrum though it may seem, they're short of testing sites. Could you do me a favor and put a small department off in a remote wing somewhere? They just need to observe how animals behave in a polymer suit. It's top secret, of course, but just about everything in your complex is top secret, isn't it? Pavlov will start sending you the polymer in vats first. We'll build a pipeline just as soon as the Ministry of Finance approves it. Thank you in advance. Comrade Zalatuchin, my dear colleague, we haven't really had a chance to get acquainted yet. But I assure you, if you attend our theater under my guidance, you'll never forget the name Lastoshkin. I've got a little favor to ask you. Could you send us a few of those fascinating flowers of yours? The theater just isn't green enough, and it could use a little more exoticism if you catch my drift. A little bird told me you've got some creeping bushes now. I'd love to have a dozen of those to wow my VIPs with. I'll make it worth your while, of course. Sincerely yours, Stepan Lastoshkin. Rescue team, finally. You cannot help me, but there are still people alive here. Say, you certainly took your sweet time, didn't you? No, I'm not the rescue team. More like a vanguard. Well, I'll be damned. Plenty of time has passed, but there's still no alarm. No army coming to the rescue. Did you see how all this got started? Can you tell me about it? I don't want to, but I certainly can. The machines didn't attack right away. They sort of spread throughout the facility at first so they could attack all at once. I suspected something was off the moment the lab tech robots all went into our offices and positioned themselves behind people's backs. Most of my colleagues died right at their stations. What scared me most wasn't the killing, but the way they slowly walked towards the humans. It was kind of like gym class, when they tell you to split up into pairs. How long ago did you die? I don't remember, but I stayed alive longer than most. The machines couldn't get to where I was since there was no way in. There was shooting, and then hoses started coming out of everywhere. Most people died in the first couple of seconds, very quickly. The robots either smashed their heads in or snapped their necks like popping the caps off soda bottles. We took to our heels, but then a lab tech grabbed comrade Afanasiev. There was a soldier around who tried to stop them, but he just had time to say, oh, that's where I sort of stopped being scared and charged the robot. The last thing I remember is being dead. Um, I'm sorry. We're gonna take those motherfuckers down. You can't blame the machines. Humans did this. Doesn't look like an accident to me. It'd take months to plan something like this. Um... I'm... You can't blame the machines. Humans did this. Doesn't look like an accident to me. It'd take months to plan something like this. Okay. They'll send someone for you once this is all over. Frankly, it won't make much difference to me. Better make sure this contagion or whatever's wrong with the robots doesn't spread to the other complexes. <laughs> 